Saturday morning and waiting for the staff to turn up. They're all had a bit of a lie-in because we've had a few late nights. I want to try and get the wheat finished cutting today. Don't know whether we will because we really should have been going at 10 and we're not going to not going to be going for 10. Just looking at this field, the rate that we drilled last sun Saturday. So it's a week now, but it's been so dry. But we have got little signs of it coming up, which is great. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more rain next week and it should bounce up a bit quicker. Just picking the combine up. Gordon's filled it up with diesel and washed the windows for me, which is great. Heather is on the tractor, ready to take it around the corner. We'll go and see if we can finish the wheat. It's nuts this weather. It's 25.2 degrees already. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's nuts. Someone's off on their holidays. Look what I've just found in the bin. Must have come out of there. The house that Andrew's bought me. He's thrown it away. It's a, it's a watering can with a boom sprayer on quite a vapor like but it shouldn't be thrown away yeah it's uh have you noticed uh, in this speed it's getting crazy it's on crack line i think a little bit of yeah it looks good i think a little bit of chewing but nothing major just having a quick look at the oil seed rape with Gordon, because that's we've just put the header on in the corner of the field. Looks okay. We're going to cut this wheat now that was so late, and then hopefully we can drill that bit header and then with oilseed rape as soon as possible, and then it'll catch this bit up. Look at this spider's web. The spider's been busy overnight. Built a web right there. There we go. Just munch this bit off now. Not a lot in the tank. Bit of a rubbish sample, but it doesn't matter because I'm going on to some other wheat in a bit. Wasn't really ready, but I want to because that's drilled with oilseed rape. I want to get this filled with oilseed rape as well. So we've just cut it to get rid of it now, blend it in, and then Andrew's going to come up with some ruts that we couldn't level out after the potatoes last year because it was too wet. They're obviously dry as a bone. Going to shoot up with a disc, level them flat, and then drill this headland then, and then hopefully the rain will wash it in on Monday or Tuesday. So once last season, this is the fifth time this season. We all just got that thing where it's rattled and won't fall out unless I poke it with the ladder. In the yellow corner today, we've got James on the fast track with Richard Weston. We'll get this field and then move to another block. Here we go, can we keep it in sync on the bend? Just about. Oh, there's a man all there. And in the blue corner, we have Bill on the T7, the one with the 900 tyres on, which are the bigger ones. The other ones on the 710s. That's the width, so 710 mil or 900 mil wide, the back tyres each. And we're just nicely chunking through this field anyway. Missed him. Andrew's just pulling out the field now on the 77. He's just put a fire break along the houses with the disc because we're chopping this straw. And if any kids come back later and set fire to it, at least it won't spread to the houses. Another textbook load for Bill there. Tank's completely full again, and it's on the cab from the last time I filled it, so I'm not going to push it again. But I've just seen. I think I better get him to bring me a shovel next time. That was the field that raped the pigeons at most of it, and there's some flowers at the far end now. But I don't know whether to cut this a little bit while I'm here, or just come back to it when a bit over there is a bit more right of the green bit in the corner. Yeah, there's the fast track there coming. Not sure if you can see the dust kicking up over there where Andrew's just sowing some oilseed rape on that heaven that we cut before. Oh, in fact, there he is. The seeds, though, will just sit there until, until it rains next week. But hopefully then, oof, straight out before. That's ticked off. Couldn't quite get it all in the trailer, though. There's about half a ton left in. The trailer's pretty full. So we'll drop the header now and off to the next block. Better fold the order in. Chop James up there because we've got some more telegraph wires there that are too low for us. It's just a pain really that 
you know, the, the electric boards, everything has to be dead safe, yet they just leave them so low across fields for us all. Surely they should be higher than that. This is one of the fields with the drill. We had the problem with the pressure. Well, it was, it was human error. Anyway, you can see there the line where it gets better again. I'm just coming through here now, it's doing 7.14 tonnes, 7.75 tonnes a hectare. So I'm hoping when I get over there, it's going to do a hell of a lot better. Still in the poor patch now, but back there it was touching 9 again. I mean, it's just dropped off to 7.7, 7.8, 8.6. 9.3, which is not bad. So I have got high hopes for over there now. And there you go, 9, 9.8, 9.45. They look so thin. Need to top out the door, but you can't see me. In the good stuff now, um, 9.38, 9.1, it was 3 to 10.6 a second ago when I started the camera. It's just really variable to, to do with um, soil type as well, I think. 9.8, where, where it's thin, it does compensate and sort of till them more and you might have bigger seeds. Like, this looks too thick now. You think crops don't really yield. Phil and Andrew now. My dad just sent me a picture of the moisture meter. 11.7% this is at now, so we're definitely going to have to be putting a hose pipe round from uh, the nearest water supply to the batch dryer and we will be wetting it to 14.7% before we sell it because water has never been worth so much. I mean why sell it 11.7% when we could probably each wagon full add an extra tonne of water to which makes the water worth 250, 60, 80 pound a tonne. So yeah, um, I think well worth the trip to B&Q to uh, get some hose pipes before the ban. Another pass on here, down and then back up, and then that's another 34 acre block done. We did 25 or 6 this morning, plus the spring wheat. This one done, and then we're in over the other side there into what's about uh, 80 acre ish. So it's 5 o'clock, so we'll just see how late we go. Maybe we'll get it done, maybe we won't. I'm not, I'm not going to push. We'll just keep going and see if we can get it done. If you aim to get it done, something goes wrong, so it's just. We just get the other 20 acres done next to it and then maybe there's just the 60 left we'll see but we'll just keep going mission accomplished can't quite get it all on james there's a little bit left in the tank you can't really see can you the folk the camera just focuses onto the dust and it's just squeezing through that gap there jay's so come to see how a combine works just in Sam is in the yard stacking the bales and he's found a load more hay caps so we've turned the chopper off and we're going to bale a bit more straw so that we've got quite a good stock don't know what we're going to do with it it's not really worth anything but hopefully in the winter the price will be worth what it was worth baling and um, we can supply some people with it but it's just going to get stacked up for now and stored this field was sprayed for wild oats but for some reason they've come up in the tram lines and I don't mean the tram lines that we were using, I mean the tram lines that were the drill tram lines every 12 metres by mistake. Uh, the spouse just fell off in the trailer. Oh! So we can find it. Just jumped out the toolbox, it's still locked so I have to do a full shutdown. Didn't want to do that because I'll lose my GPS. I'm just going to leave the engine on idle. Are we? Problem with the grain being so dry, you can't even walk in it. If anyone is watching from class, I've seen it on TikTok, an 8700 with a spout on, and one of them actuators to adjust the, the pitch of it, and I want one, because this is absolutely rubbish. I'm sick of putting it on and knocking it on things, because it's just too long, and then it throws it too far. Right, it's on and it's solid. He wants chopping off though, because that's rubbish. It leaks out of here as well. Well, I was stopped. Get the engine bay blow off. And in a minute, I'll have to boom the auger out as Andrew pulls forward because obviously the tube is inside the auger. Right, now, I need to make sure that that doesn't hit the trailer if he pulls forwards. And 
swing it out so it doesn't catch the side. There we go. Poetry. What I really need is one of these that Andrew saw on TikTok this morning. See? Hey, uh, Gordon's been uh, having a laugh with Rob there when he's rode up, I think. Just in this field now, and the dust is just hanging across the field from the chopper. Not much wind at all. Quite a lot of birthdays today, and we're even approaching uh, £8,000 on the birthday bumper. So we've got Grace, who was born today, so congratulations there. The Amanda Edgar, Thomas Clements, Alan Black, Callum Brenneth, Brennett, I'm not sure, I'm rubbish at spelling. Derek Smith, Jim Holland, Luke Harding, David Kinsey's was yesterday, so happy birthday, everyone on the window today. Pigeons have eaten this bit up here. See, perhaps there. Rob is here with the baler. He's just gonna go and look at what that straw was like that we just put on the floor before. Black thing. Right, Andrew's recorded. Actually, he took this picture. The sun is setting now behind the trees. It's now 8.28. The moisture is still about 11.5. It's reading 12.6 at the moment, but it is 11.5. And, and Rob has just started bailing what we put on the floor only sort of half an hour ago. Uh, it's not often you can bail right behind the combine, but because it's been so hot, the straw is so dry, it's, it's dry enough to bale, so he's just doing that now. We're dropping the straw down again. We've been chopping most of it for most of the day, but we've, like I say, we found some hay caps, so we're going to make the most of them. That looks proper, doesn't it? We'll focus though, will it? We'll zoom in because the dust on the window. Let's see if it's dry. Here we go. That better. Anyway. That is all for today, thanks for watching. I will probably do a live a bit later on because I no doubt I will be bored because we're going to be in this field of 65 acres and we've done 10 of it. So we'll probably be in it for a bit. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Sorry, yes, one last thing. I'm just to give a shout out today to Yorkshire Farm Last who started a YouTube channel. So I'll put a link below the video to her channel if you want to watch it. I haven't watched any myself, I must admit, but I did say give her a shout out.